How's it going, Respawners? This is Half Fun Respawning, and I'm going to show you how to get realistic or make realistic water in Cinema 4D. This is simply easy. You just got to follow the steps. I mean, I actually created this water on my own. I created the own texture for it. I didn't go up and look up any videos on how to create textures and stuff for it. I actually made it myself. This is something how it looks. When you add color to it. But. I'm going to show you how I did it. This is a tutorial. Am I right guys? Alright. Whenever you first get. Your. If you're using mine waves or something. You should have stationary water. You want to go and find that. In, in here. In this area. And once you find stationary water. You're going to want to click on it. And hit delete. I know that's not stationary, but you know, on yours, I already deleted it. And then you're going to want to go and create new material. And something should pop up. It shouldn't have this stuff right here. It should have, like, everything else. Well, first, I'm going to show you how. Okay, color, we can do that in a little bit. First, you're going to want to check transparency, check reflection, check bump, and check specular. Those are the things that you'll be needing in this tutorial. Transparency, I put mine at 50 around there. Reflection, you, I'm going to put mine a little higher. You could put it around 85. I don't have it at 100 because then it kind of just everything reflects off of it. Um, bump, this is kind of... What you want to do is you're going to want to select this. Wait, I'm gonna just create a new material to show you guys. It'd be much easier for y'all. Okay, check transparency, reflection, and bump, and specular. Transparency, have it around... Like around 50. Reflection, I have mine around 70. 75. Texture, you're gonna wanna click this arrow button and go to noise. And then you wanna click noise and choose wavy turbulence then your kind of wire is going to look like that okay that that's good now go to height and i put my height to 100 and then go to fall off you can put it somewhere like around i right, don't choose negative five and then your color color is kind of important am i right now you get to choose your color Choose it light blue, you could choose it green. You could choose it any color you want. Let's see how green will look. Then your wire will look something like that. Then once you're done, you see they're gonna drag it on there and see how it looks. This is green wire, I'm gonna. The wire looks nasty. <laughs> And also another thing, this water, you, you should also add it to that, that water. Or, you should also add your textures to the, those waters you're using mine ways. Alright, I'm gonna delete this green because I think it looks kind of ugly. So yeah guys, that's how you do it. Now if you want to get waves, or something of that, you're gonna want to click... Mm. If I can find it If I can't find it I know what else I can click Oh I can't find it oh. I'm trying to look for random There's like this thing Uh Well, if you can't find it, you can always choose a displacer. Now, I already have a displacer. What you want to do is you want to drag this displacer and put it all the way. Well, put it right here where the arrow is pointing down to the stationary wire. And I already have that done. And then you're going to want to. I'm gonna go 
uh, multiple views so I can get this water right. All right. Then once you have it like there, this is. If you see this yellow, if you see this yellow arrow. Okay, where is it? You can change the height. And with the shader, I would go and select noise. What just happened? I guess no noise. Well, you can leave it and drag it wherever you want it to be. Uh, I don't know if this is the right place, but whenever you animate it, it kind of gives wavy effects to the video. So... Right now, I just put the water kind of bluish. This one right here. If you got any questions or anything or how to even create a texture, just add me or don't add me, just comment down below. And if I help you and this actually is a good tutorial and you like it, can it'd be nice if you give it a like if you know what I mean. Be part of my respawners. So yeah guys, thanks for watching and as always have fun respawning. Peace.